Hey y'all, I'm wearing my Western wear, so might as well go with the theme. But this is our continued standard um, MD1 with the metric system. So MD1 is our metric conversion or our measurement conversion standard. In fifth grade, we are required to convert measurements within a system. So we won't be asked to go from customary uh, weights like pounds to kilograms in the metric systems, but we will be asked to convert within the metric system and within the customary system. So this chart is here to help us uh, convert within the metric system. So the metric system is really um, simpler. Okay, simpler and more complicated at the same time. But basically they have a base, it's based on a base unit, uh, which is either the meter for length, the gram for weight, or the liter for capacity. So everything is going to be either a meter, a gram, or a liter, depending upon what you are measuring. So for example, if I had a meter, I was measuring length, I could have kilom kilometers, I could have meters, I could have centimeters. Those are all terms that you are familiar with. So um, when we are converting within the metric system, we can actually use this chart to do that. So if I wanted to go from kilometers to meters, okay, meters my base unit, that means one, okay, the base unit is just one, Kilometers, kilo, kilo means 1,000. Centi means 100. Milli means 1,000th. So we just really have to know how to use this chart. Um, so if I had, if I wanted to go from, tell you how many meters were in three kilometers, I would know that inside, pause. Thank you. I would know that inside every kilometer is 1,000 meters. So when you see that means 1,000, that means there's 1,000 of the base unit, 1,000 meters in every kilometer, 100 meters in every hectometer. That's a very strange term. You're not going to see that very frequently. Um, you have a deca decameter. That would be 10 meters. Again, not commonly used. Common we use with meters, we have kilometers, we have meters, we have decimeters, centimeters, and millimeters. So you will see millimeters used, you will see centimeters used, you will see meters, and you will see kilometers. And these other things are just kind of stepping stones on our way. So we can use this chart to answer questions. The first one here says 548 and three tenths millimeters equals how many meters? So I want to show you the directions and how I can use the chart to answer the question. So it says to convert, move the decimal, the direction and number of spaces on the ladder. So we have 548 and three tenths meters. I want to go from uh, millimeters. So I'm here at millimeters and I want to go to meters, which is here, which means that my decimal needs to move one, two, three spaces to the left, three spaces to the left. So instead of being um, here, it's going to hop one, two, three spaces, okay? And it's going to become 500, well, hold on. That would be 5,483 ten so that simple. It's based on the base 10 unit. When we go up the ladder, we are multiplying. So, no, sorry. When we go up the ladder, we are dividing. So each time you go up the ladder, you're dividing one place to the to the left. Okay, you're getting one place smaller. Um, and as you come down the ladder, you're multiplying by 10. So going from kilometers to meters, that's why we multiplied by a thousand. So that would be times 10 times 100 times 1,000. Um, so when we look at 3.2 kilograms, grams is our base unit, and we want to know how many grams that is, we're going to shift our decimal again, count the places. So we're at kilograms at the top, and we want to go to grams, which is the base unit. So that's going to be times 10 times 100 times 
1,000, or we're going to shift that decimal three places to make this number larger. So it's going to, it starts here, one, two, three. It's going to end up being 3,200 grams. So we're going to practice using this chart. We don't have a lot of time to work with the standard, and I feel like it probably could use a lot of practice. So uh, we're going to do the best that we can with the time that we have. Um, practice converting the measurements. You guys are going to do great. Bye.